Morning all, it's just gone seven. It's, uh, it's a beautiful morning out there actually. It's not the clear skies we had last night, but um, some high level cloud. I have to go and check. There was, looking at the mountain weather, today was the day for possibility of a cloud inversion. I've not actually been and had a look if there's anything down there in the valley yet. I've, I'm really tempted to go for a little dip quickly this morning. Wake the old body up. But um, yeah, coffee's on, brew's on, and uh, porridge for breakfast. Nothing exciting. But look at this out here. Yeah. Not too shabby for Mr. Brown, eh? Not too bad. Managed to talk myself into going in. I can tell you it is fucking freezing. Ooh, wowzers. Oh, oh, it's like a bog. Oh, oh I just sunk in a bog. <laughs> oh, it's really boggy just there. <sighs> <sighs> Wowzers! It takes your breath away. <laughs> what one with nature? I'm not. <sighs> I think that might be enough of nature now. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. Ah, that was cold. Done. it morning routine is over managed to uh, dry off warm up David's over there doing the uh, photos for his count and making me feel bad being short and fat <laughs> So we are off up there this morning. It doesn't look as quite as imposing as it did yesterday. But I think it's because I can only see half of it at the moment <clears throat> from where we are. But um, so we'll be going up here and then we make our way up and round, don't we? After that. We're basically coming round this way to what's behind us in the distance. That'll be all of this range done. I think there's five peaks today to do, but from what David tells me, they're, they're harder, more mountainous. So, uh, <clears throat> got those to do today. Earliest start, it's just coming up to eight o'clock, so we'll be getting ourselves finalised, packed up and then uh, yeah should finish somewhere towards um, Snowdon or on Snowdon tonight so we've only got that and Cribgoch to do in the morning so uh, yeah I'll finish my coffee enjoy the last of this and get packed away Got a root picked. Very good. <laughs> I think it could be a little shelter, but 
it looks well used a bit damp probably got some little surprises in there from the sheep where are we going then you got a you got a root in your head up there, up there. <laughs> useful that <laughs> <laughs> you just make it up as you go along. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's an adventure. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah, it wouldn't be fine with it if it was all planned. We're going up there, boys and girls, by the way. Yeah. One for you, Jamie. Snowden Massey. Nice. Right. Got a plan? Oh, it was... Does it go up through that gully? Yeah, well, we're coming to the end of the, the, the path. steps, now. yeah. And then we're heading up through there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hands and knees job. Get a bit steeper, a bit looser. Yeah. Stow the old poles, I guess. I might leave a little bit of space actually. Oh really? <laughs> well, I don't think oh, I I don't think I would stop you in all honesty. <laughs> <laughs> They did. They did. That one was perfectly legitimate scrambling was, technique. Was it? Okay. Yeah, Good. I hope I don't want to look like an amateur or anything. No, no, you know. No shame in putting your taking <laughs> Yeah, I don't want I don't want to be that guy. You know, <laughs> floundering on the rock face. Sobbing slightly. I can't do it. <laughs> it's too much. <sighs> So is that snowing off over there with the cloud? Yeah. 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 The has got a nice scramble. It starts if you go from the bottom of that lake there. Yeah. There's that red line I can see. Up. Is that a little is that a river that runs down through there? Yeah. Just to the, to the left of it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. And then it kind of peters out up there. Yeah. And you come across to the left. And oh you can oh see yeah. That last nice bit of rock. With the there. shadow on it. Yeah. The shadow, the back yeah, of it. La that last bit's the, the fun bit. Yeah, I bet. That almost looks volcano ish, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Do you see it with the crater? I'm assuming at some point a section has slid down, it looks like, doesn't it? And left that, mm. that gully crater. So we'll we'll come round over these ridges later then. Yeah, we'll be going follow, to follow those steps. Yeah. And then drop off the back of that one, is it? Down that way. Yeah. What's this one here then behind? Do we go Energy of Hour? Oh, is it? Over the back, yeah? Well we go up to it and then we'll be going kind of yeah. not over the back of it, but no. down that side of it. You see the ridge coming down, yeah, down there. We'll be coming up to the back up the road that direction. I've got yeah. 
Oh, so that would be that tough slog that people talk about up that yeah. at the back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up onto that one. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of the second ascent of the typical route. Nice. Wow, where are we going? Up there? Up, yeah, this way. Yeah, not far off the summit. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I've seen a couple. Concentrating on you. There's good hand holds all the way up as well. Yeah. Make sure you've got good. Yeah, I'm kind of pulling myself up with my hands rather than pushing off, so I know I'm pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, it's got the old adrenaline going a little bit. Yeah, that. I think it was seeing that view and then coming up that yeah. like tougher bit <laughs> made my legs go a bit jangly. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Top of Trafan. With Adam and Eve behind me, look at those. We were just talking about the fact there's no way that's natural. But we seem to have hit gold on the weather today. It is perfect. There's no wind. Oh, look. Ruining my shot with your fatness back there. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna pan on by. <laughs> you uh, David had a bright idea. So these two stones are called Adam and Eve. Which one's Adam? Which one's Eve? Do you know? Uh, I think this is Adam. Okay. And he's been trying to tempt me to jump between them. He says it's a epic shot. I've decided against that. But he's gonna do it. I think he's mental. I'll take you up there in a minute and show you. Yeah, nice view. Yeah. See, at this point, I'd be a hard. I'd be struggling to stand up under my own weight, and my <laughs> legs are like. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, exposure is something you have to kind of get acclimatised to. Yeah. I think there's a few people who are just kind of naturally okay with it. But yeah. Most people, you have to kind of uh, build yourself up to it over time. Yeah. I'm just glad your your abs are silhouetted out right now, so nobody actually <laughs> knows. <laughs> ready? When you're ready, mate, it's recording. What? Oh, that makes my legs go. <laughs> Even watching you do it. Nice. That's, uh, I've now gained the, the freedom of Triven. <laughs> you got my respect, that's for sure. I'll show you what, what he's dealing with on the other side now, look. There's a little little cloud inversion through there, isn't there, look. Yeah, Coming down the valley. It's easier for you anyway, you've got longer legs. Oh yeah. That's yeah. what it is. I've heard all kinds of excuses from people up here. <laughs> I, I must have given a good list of them by now. <laughs>
I'll let you lead the way. You know where you're going. It's pretty, isn't it? So yeah, that if you track down below them and to the right a little bit, you can see a bit of a gully running through the rock. Yeah, yeah. That sinister gully, that's the usual starting point for Bristly Ridge. So would you come up this way? It looks like, I think I can see you just can. below that you section. Come, you can come up from down there, yeah. It, oh yeah, I can see it here as well. It goes up and then Probably. cuts back and then it goes up between the rocks just below where you said Sinister Ridge. That's quite an ominous name, isn't it? Yeah, just to, the, to the right of it, you've got Dexter Gully. Yeah. Uh, which is a, another start point you can use, uh, but it's a little bit uh, more loose. Uh, but Sinister and Dexter's just left and right in Latin. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, well, you could be saying anything. You're going to have to check that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's me going, is that right? And people are going, idiot. <laughs> wow. So, how, yeah. yeah. You can get a good idea of scale, can't you? Yeah. Looking at that. In the distance. Yeah, so what are we following up this sort yeah, of we'll, scree path? Yeah, we'll cross over the other side of the wall and, yeah, we'll be heading up that kind of scree gully to the, to the left of Bristly Ridge. And then you kind of cut back on, back on yourself by the looks yeah, of it. Yeah, they, they join up at the top and then uh, we're, we're almost at the, the summit of Gridavak. Nice. The cloud's coming in a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it but has, yeah. I think it might pass over. Nice, All right. Let's do it. Yeah, this is so loose, isn't it? You right there, buddy? <sighs> yeah. Nice. Ugh. The old legs burning a little bit at the top. Is Glitter Vac done? Do you know what that route is called up there? Uh, it's Bristly Gully. Bristly Gully. Done it, mate. Completed it. It was uh, a little bit shingly, isn't it? Loose. Yeah, it's quite loose and quite steep. Yeah, yeah. in places. But uh, Glitter Vac's done. Now heading off in that direction. Castilly Gwent. Yeah. I actually, it does. That um, that fully reminds me. I'd be amazed if they've not filmed some Game of Thrones or something. Although I doubt they'd get those actors up here, would they? Look at that. Windy Castle, I'm told. It looks fully, we were saying, I was saying earlier that the, uh, um, some of the, uh, the views you could easily imagine seeing a, uh, a dinosaur. I said a Tyrannosaurus Rex or a Diplodocus or something. I don't know. That could be a made-up dinosaur, by the way. It does. Uh, you could easily imagine them kind of prowling this uh, <coughs> landscape. Yeah. So, Castelli Gwent, the Windy Castle, uh, Mr. Mountain Nomads assures me there's a spot on top that uh, I can sit on top of, not sit on top of, stand on top of. <laughs> so, uh, it's going to be good enough to try and get a picture of me up there.
Oh, I didn't record it. I forgot to get my camera out. Oh, I'm, I'm recording in my pocket, so uh, you can hear me like, way. So I did make it up there. I forgot to take my camera out, but if you want to see the truth or the the uh, the, the the footage, go to at Mountain Nomads, and uh, maybe I've made the cut and it's made it onto his Instagram. But uh, I make my way back down now. The clouds are rolling in. So it's like a yeah, driven. Driven. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks way less daunting from this angle. Yeah. I think it's that from that side as we came down there. It just looks very imposing. It's you know, it stands up yeah. out of the rock. And it, weirdly, I don't know, you know, looking around it, none of these seemed as big. I don't know whether it's just the way it stands, it makes it look like yeah. that, but yeah, I think so. It's, uh, yeah, from that side, you get the full effect of the, yeah. the north ridge because it runs all the way down there. Right the way down to the road, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah maybe that's it because a lot of the others have got kind of, you know, rocky areas and they tend to turn into grassy kind of areas and then this bottom section almost down in the valley, whereas this just stands straight out of it, doesn't it? Mm. This is uh, Egon. This one, so we came from up there. So we started down there last night, came up to the lake, and then this morning we went up there and we've come back down around and then come down here. And we're now going the Zata way. So we've got a couple of nice rolly bits. A little climb up there. And then that's the last one, isn't it? Or last one back down into the valley. Right, so we've uh, just come round off that behind me and then uh, we're now on to the what will be the last peak of the day which is up here so uh, we're gonna go up here the plan is then to head back down that far ridge and come down back into the valley and that will leave us with a little ascent back up uh, part of Snowdon <laughs> which will put us on the on the correct side for Cribgok in the morning and Snowdon and those last few. So uh, this is six done today, seven to, uh, the last one, uh, number seven today, and then we're gonna start on number eight after a bit of food and stuff, I think. A little refresh, legs get back under us. And, yeah, it's been nice. Hopefully the weather holds out. We're told the wind's picking up a little bit in the morning, but uh, hopefully we can get up early enough and get it done and get over. So push on. Ella dear Vower. Yeah, so this one, uh, there was a slight disappointment two thirds of the way up when uh, it looked like we were reaching the summit and there was another push. Yeah, you can probably see it down over there, actually. But uh, it was a nice walk up, actually. Massive reservoir down there. And we, we found a wind shelter, which I was just saying smells a little bit like an old telephone box from the 90s. I just said bus shelter, but it smells a little bit ripe. But look at the views. Chinook up in the sky.
kind of hovering around. It's over there at the moment. Wow. It's out of a view. Uh, we've made our way down from the top. That was uh, quite quite a long, long descent actually. It's a bit grueling one. It canes the knees, but we've uh, stopped off next to this river. We're gonna get ourselves some food and have a little bit of chill time, and then uh, look at trying to do the last ascent of the day uh, yeah it's a nice little spot actually lovely spot so at this point there's a little bit of a gap in filming um, we ate our food down at this beautiful little spot we then finished off and head down into the bottom of the valley uh, where we walked along the road for about two kilometres, found a pub, had a quick pint and then uh, set off in the dark up towards what we were, where we were planning to camp. We didn't have an exact spot, but we knew generally where we were heading for. Uh, so we climbed about 600 metres, I think it was, in the dark, under head torches, which in hindsight was one of the greatest experiences and, and really really amazing so uh yeah the next video will uh catch up where i left off ah oh, so how far do you reckon we've come now <laughs> i'm still trying to work out to give you a good or a bad review on trust pilot <laughs> you're loving it i am actually loving it and a bit of a wobble so we've um we come came down for, i think from where i recorded earlier on the other side we came down it's quite a brutal um you know descent isn't it down that long long what was it called it's a long way off Elidir Vauer. Elidir Vauer, yeah. that's right. And then uh, we did stop for a pint quickly for medicinal <laughs> purposes. Did a couple of kilometres along the road and then um, turned and came up, which, yeah, it was it was nice to start with. We were both saying it was nice, weren't we? But then uh, it did uh, it did get pretty steep. We had a little scramble. Uh, my heart beat, beat a lot. And then, uh, yeah, but we've now made it up to the top we're up, up by a lake it's i don't even know what time it is what time is it it's About 10 o'clock 10 o'clock but behind me you can just faintly see we're now above the crest on the other side and you can see the street lights and stuff out there so we're by the lake now we're gonna oh is my light gone out oh my battery's gone <laughs> it's just a glow now so uh we're nearly there though so I'm going to set up camp and I'll catch you in the morning.